Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. The study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 79. Please turn to it. Page number 79 and today is our lesson number 27. It's the second problem that we're going to do. The one that has to do with rectangle and the triangle. So let's take a look at it. Something like this is what we given to us. We are told that this is 4 feet. This is 4 feet. This is 3 feet. And this bottom part here, the rectangle that we have given here, we are told that this is 6 feet, this is 8 feet, and this is 6 feet. Well, listen, the very first thing I want to do is to give these vertices a name. Let's christen them, shall we? Vertices. You understand what that means? Vertices? You might have forgotten, so I just want to refresh your memory. Vertices is the plural of. It's a plural of vertex, and vertex is just a very fancy way, very annoying way of saying a corner. So when you have a corners in the pictures, I want to give them names so that it's easier to talk about different shapes. Instead of going that, this step, not this triangle, not that one, the bottom part, not the top part. Instead of going like that, it's better to christen the vertices. Let's do that. A, B, C, D. E, and finally we're going to call this one F. What does it mean? What does it mean to christen? You might know it, of course, you're a native speaker, I realize that. I didn't know it, so I had to learn it. What does christen mean? Well, you'll find out. If there's something that we learned on day number... Day number what? Day number 63. On day 63 in our vocabulary lesson, just type in vocabulary words, day 63, along with my name, and the video will write, pop right up, vocabulary words, day 63. In that video, we learned that christen has two meanings. Literally, of course, you know what it means. Literally, it means to baptize someone. Metaphorically, it just means to give something or someone a name. So let's christen these vertices, like we just did. They're looking for the area of the thing. So let's find out, shall we? The area of a triangle, we know, area of a triangle, area of a triangle we know equals one half base times height one half base times height is the area of the triangle let's look at this triangle triangle BCF triangle BCF in, in BCF the base is this part right here that is your base which is four so the area will equal one half one half base which we just said is four right here in BCF, BCF, the base is 4 times height, height is this part, which is 3 feet. C to F is the height, so the area is going to be, the area is going to be 1 half base, 1 half base, which is BF times height, which is CF. So 1 half base, which is 4, times the height which is 3 and you can cancel out the 2 with the 4 and we find out that the area of this triangle is 6 square feet because these are feet and these are feet so it's 6 square feet is the area of this triangle 6 square feet 6 square feet and of course this triangle is identical so that's 6 square feet as well the last thing we have to figure out is the area of the rectangle which is a quite straightforward deal it's just 6 by 8. So it's 6 feet by 8 feet, 6 feet by 8 feet, and of course 6 times 8 is 48, 6 is a 48, and feet times feet is going to give us again our feet squared. So the total area is 48 square feet for the rectangle, and 6 square feet this for this triangle, and 6 square feet for that triangle. Therefore the total area total area is going to be 48 
plus 6 plus 6, which is 12, for a total of 60 square feet. Total area 60 square feet, 48 square feet for the rectangle, and 6 square feet for each of the two small triangles that you see on the top. The triangle BCF, the triangle BCF, which is identical to the triangle CFD. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.